Hello Unlimited Trends. Today I have a really interesting question from Adriana. Her question is, I had a talk with my best friend and he took what I said the wrong way. He's now saying that he's done with our friendship and never wants to see me again or talk to me. What can I do to turn this around and be back, get back to being best friends? I love him dearly. Well, this is a really powerful question. Thank you for sharing, Andriana. Now, there are many things going on here. In fact, I want to keep the question open because I'm going to refer back to it. So there's many things that are going on here. The first thing is, why do you think you said the things that you said that he took the wrong way? You see, the only reason someone will take things that you say the wrong way is because you are not in the best place on the emotional scale when you say them. And they are also not in the best place on the emotional scale to receive what you're saying. So it's always a meeting at the same place on the emotional scale because the universe will not match you up. You will not be able to get together in the same place in order to have this conversation if you're on different places on the emotional scale. Like vibration lines up. So here's your vibration. If his vibration was higher than yours, you wouldn't have had that conversation. And if his vibration was lower than yours, you wouldn't have had that conversation. The fact that you had the conversation means you were both on the same vibration. So the important thing to understand here, my dear, is that as long as you keep your vibration high, if somebody is having a bad day, their vibration is low, they're over here, you will not be able to have any conversation with them unless they come up here to meet you. And when you're both high on the emotional scale, the only type of conversations you can have are fabulous, good ones. All right. So this is, of course, for future use. Let's try and see what we can do in order to help you with the situation that you're in now, which is you want to repair this friendship. So here's what I'm going to say to you. And this is what I say to everybody. We all have these little antennas. Our antennas are that aspect of our psychic personality that receives vibration from other people. That's what makes us all psychic. And we're all psychic whether we know it consciously or not. Because you know those times when you walked into a room and you can feel the other person's anger or you can feel the other person's joy. So you see, if you were to let go this feeling that you have just now that something's gone wrong, because when you keep thinking something's gone wrong, you are low on the emotional scale. So we want to put this event that's happened, we want to put it away. And instead, we want to focus on things that make you feel good so that you can go up the emotional scale. Don't necessarily think about things relevant to this relationship because thinking about this relationship might make you miss those times that you had in the past. And if you start missing, now missing someone is not a positive vibration. It's a negative vibration. So if you send someone the vibration that you're missing them, all they're receiving with their antenna, they're not receiving the thought that says, oh, she's missing me or she's sorry for what she said. All they're receiving is negative energy. And if they receive negative energy, they cannot respond positively to negative energy. So what you need to do is to focus on something that makes you feel happy, something that takes you up the emotional scale. And when you go up the emotional scale, now the energy that you're sending towards them is an energy of love, of joy. 
And when they pick up that energy, they're going to pick up the phone and call you. I promise you, if you put a, get yourself to go up the emotional scale, you will receive that call and everything will be forgotten. See, because that's all people want to know. People want to know and feel the love. And when they don't feel the love, then they stop sending love. And it just becomes a vicious circle. So you don't love me, so I won't love you. And so now I think you don't love me, so I won't love you. And that just keeps, it's a spiral that diminishes love and joy. We want to do the opposite of that. We want to create love and joy. So what I'm going to advise you is, preferably get off the subject completely. Just put yourself in a happy place Play with your puppy or your cat or, you know, go and watch a movie. Do something that makes you feel better. And then pre-pave. Pre-pave your next conversation with him. Pre-pave having a good conversation with him. And then when you're in that nice place where you're feeling love, where you're feeling good, then send him a blast of loving energy. And when he receives it, he will call you. All right. I hope this is useful. I hope that I hope to hear your results and uh, I'm going to look forward to that. So after you do the work that I'm suggesting and you get the results that you get, remember to come back and post a comment for me. Take care in the meantime and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.